हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी हैव वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फिल्म मेकर विद अस फ्रॉम द होटल्स ऑफ हिमालय दीवा शाह हाय दीवा हाय सो दीवा कुड यू टेल अस अबाउट योर सेल्फ एंड हाउ डिड यू गेट इन टू फिल्म मेकिंग एंड व्हाई आर यू हियर या सो आई कम फ्रॉम द हिल्स एंड माय डेब्यू फिल्म बहादुर द पेट uh it just won the uh, san sebastian international film festival new directors award it was the first indian film to win it in 71 years and then we also won at mami the silver gateway award yeah. and i'm here with my second feature that is at the screenwriters lab and i was very fortunate because uh, the australian script consultant claire dobin worked with me very closely for uh, three months Okay. Yeah, so I'm here with my uh, second project, looking for producers, financiers. So let's talk about Bahadur. Um, okay. Now, are you attending more festivals? Uh, what yes. Are, uh, what point are you at? Yes. Festival? With Bahadur, uh, the brave, uh, we are going to again uh, do another festival. It is IFFK in Kerala. We'll be screening, and then the festival run continues. We have to do more festivals to our American premiere, which hasn't been decided yet. Okay. So it's going on. Okay. Uh, do you have uh, sales? Or, uh, um, a festival strategy somebody associated with you uh, for, for bahadur the brave no for bahadur i think it was a very very independent uh, production where two of my producers and it was just me and we came up with the little that we could do and obviously film bazaar work in progress lab all the connections that we made here helped us immensely okay amazing yeah. uh, do you have any uh, release plans for bahadur uh, not as of now it will be a little early to say but let's see hoping for the best i yeah. want the film to reach out to as many people yeah. as we can and uh, as far as uh, from whatever i have seen i think it is more accessible for uh, there is some uh, something for everybody in the film yes i hope uh, so yeah. okay so now let's talk about chap um, yeah. i think it is also a migrant story it way. is a migrant story uh, so what i know um, excites you about migrant stories and yeah. uh, how did you come up about writing this So I like I come from Nainital, and when you come from a small town in the hills, you know there are a lot of migrant communities. Like there were like these migrant laborers around us. I grew up around them, and that's why my first film was about them. And then you know about Tibetan refugees. I'm talking about in my second film, and I grew up with a lot of Tibetans in my school. And uh, yeah, so the film is that, and it's much more than just about just a film about refugees. It is it is a it is a family drama. It's about two people in love. Okay. Yeah. So that is what it is. Yeah. Okay. So at what stage are you at? So we are working on one of the final drafts because we've had the script at the screenwriters lab uh, for three months now. So we've been working on the script, and in I think uh, the next one or two months I should be there. There's a little tweaking to do here and there. I should be there with my final draft. Okay, yeah. amazing. Uh, yeah. Is there any producer associated with it? No, not as of now. <laughs> That's and why I'm pure at film as well. Okay, and I presume you are going to direct the film. Yes, I'm going to direct. Okay. Um, We wish good luck that your, you know something happens. Yes, I just hope something yeah. happens and Film Bazaar again proves lucky for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And how did you get into film? So it's it's very uh, funny and strange and uh, different because I never wanted to get into films. My mother is a documentary mm-hmm. filmmaker, but she left that and she came to the hills. By the time I had grown old, my father is a cinematographer, but they didn't actively pursue filmmaking. By the time when I was old, like I was in school, in middle school, they'd come back to the hills. They were teaching, they were doing other businesses. So you know, uh, my experience of all the filmmaking that I had, you know, experienced through. them was that it was a field full of uncertainty there was no stability so i didn't want to do that okay. but you know you learn filmmaking from parents no i don't think so because i was kept away i grew up okay. with my grandparents okay. but you know i was an avid reader so i always wanted to write i did okay. my creative writing at durham university in the uk i came okay. back wrote two novels that never got published okay and uh, that's when like you know covid hit i was again watching worlds and my always watch films so i think yeah the core of it was the writer and the and the practical aspects of filmmaking uh, uh, that did you uh, so you know uh, as i told you like you know after covid hit i decided i want to do the film and then because i wanted to have more creative freedom i want to direct the film as well so a lot of it i learned some instincts from watching films from watching a lot of good films from around the world okay. yeah uh, and and this video series is primarily for uh, fellow independent filmmakers like yeah. us so could you tell us to like Brave. What equipment did you use? What camera did you use? What yeah. uh, recorders did you use? <laughs> so, like it happens in independent films, we didn't have a camera, proper camera. And 
and it was very expensive and then my DOP suggested A7S2 but then my producer got this camera for free which okay. was black magic so okay. he had to you know how independent films work okay. there is not enough money okay. you just got to but you have to tell the story you have to be patient and you have to be very very uh, adamant and not give up okay. this urge to tell the story okay. so I think technically it, it works out like yeah we, I, I wanted uh, Ari Alexa I wanted all of those things but even if you don't get all of those things you know you can do it if the story the script is very tight and very defined I think the equipment don't matter okay. that much yeah and uh, I presume it was in sound yeah it was okay. in sound it was done by Rakesh, Jishnu and Thomas okay. they're all from Kerala okay. yeah yeah nice yeah. Can you tell us about uh, distribution strategy and um, because many times we look for producers and then their first question is you know what is the recovery model? Yeah. So like to you what is... Yeah so that happens very often with independent films and we clueless because you know with independent films especially the ones that want to go to uh, festivals, they want to have a global audience, how do you go about it? how do you explain producers, how is the journey? So it's very important that you find like-minded uh, producers and in India it's even more difficult we don't have a solid public funding infrastructure but what is important is a platform like Film Bazaar because this is where you meet people from around the world or say a screenwriters lab a co-production market this is very important because you know having meetings having exposure one-to-one -one with people who are actually may, uh, may, may be useful they might not say I'll put money outright but three months down the line they would recommend someone to you who might be useful who might be a programmer from a festival and you end up sending your film there and you never know you know the film's journey yeah. may, may really yeah. rise from yeah. there on yeah. so it is important yeah then tell us about your books that you about the literature so i've always been an avid reader and i wrote these two books it was about the yemenis in the uk uh, when i was studying i was doing my uh, i was doing my masters in creative writing and the book was about that and uh, the other book that i was writing was set in my hometown and it is very close to where i come from my community the shark community in nenita okay yeah, yeah. Uh, and we also ask our guest about uh, something that they, they like uh, yeah. uh, mainly a book a film and uh, a song yeah. that maybe uh, you happen to like recently or uh, something that affected you deeply in a way so you can start with the film. So a film that I watched recently. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean I watched two films that I really liked at Mami which was uh, The Monk and the Gun. Okay. And I also liked Anatomy of a Fall. Okay. But a film that I keep going back to I would say uh, is Charu Rata. Okay. Like I've seen it, I've seen it again and again and again. I keep going back to the film for so many reasons. And, uh, and book, book, yeah, I think uh, Vikram Seth's A Suitable Boy. One book that you know, I can just, I just read it, and you know, it's, it's the family drama, the family equation, the relations, the characters. It's just, it's, it's this piece of my heart. It has a piece of my heart, and a song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so a song would be uh, so for this next movie that I was researching. I'm listening to a lot of Sigur Ros. It's my favorite too. I mean, yeah. a couple of tracks from the yeah. or yeah. from them. Uh, yeah. There was this. Um, uh, so it's an Icelandic, Icelandic yeah. uh, band. And, I had used uh, their music in my pitch also. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> I did not notice that. Yeah. So there is this uh, uh, Canadian filmmaker. I am forgetting his name. Cafe de Flore is the film uh, okay. where this music was used. Yeah. Uh, the music video is uh, featuring the kids having Down syndrome and all that. It's, it's like amazing piece of music. I love. It. Okay, Diva, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, um, thank you so much. Best of luck thank with your uh, next project. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was a lovely chat. Thank you, thank you.